I solved it. Da -da 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 -da. I solved it. Okay, so I just wanted to show real quick what my issue was yesterday and how at least I solved it to the point that the code is working, okay? It may not be the most performant. I'm learning React. Be kind, be nice, be encouraging, okay? So I have a form that is accepting the input and adding, you know, like basically capturing the item that we are adding. And then on submit, we handle adding that item. So I have a form that is accepting the input and each item has um, an X button that handles removing the item. Here I have my handle adding item and preventing default because it's a form. And then I'm calling set items, which is basically replacing the array that, you know, is currently held in items, the state variable. Then down here, uh, handle remove item. I am, so, you know, we can't uh, directly mutate the state variable items. And so I'm creating a copy and then I am splicing, you know, I'm locating the item to be deleted. And then I am splicing that out of that copy of the array. And then here I am basically setting items with that updated array. Okay. So what I was experiencing was adding um, an item wasn't a problem. Okay. It was deleting an item. So right now I'm clicking on that X, but nothing is happening until I go and type you know, in the, in the field again, and you can see I've actually deleted multiple items without realizing it. Yes. And so, you know, basically re-render was only happening when I interacted with the, um, with the, with the field. And so I figured out that my mistake was down here. And what, what actually clued me in was how I call set items here. I realized that I was basically, I was giving it an actual array, right? Whereas here, even though list to updates, you know, technically is an array, I think that was the that, that was the problem. React and I were not on the same wavelength. So what I actually did here was I actually like explicitly created an array that then down here, uh handle remove item. I am so, you know, we can't uh, directly mutate the state variable items. And so I'm creating a copy and then I am splicing, you know, I'm locating the item to be deleted and then I am splicing that out of that copy of the array. And then here I am basically setting items with that updated array. Okay. So what I was experiencing and that appeared to work. So if I add an item that still works and then if I delete this, it deletes. So yes, I'm still learning. I'm getting there. This is like basic React, but I'm glad I got this to work.